we've got to separate Twitter. the difference between, no between notoriety and success. And, and this is a new breed that we see. We see the formula here. And so, you know, this is the, the honey boo boo of Washington. You're going to oh, get attention. You're, you're going to get the cameras pointed at you. You're going to get big numbers. But at the end of the day, you're honey not. Honey boo boo of Washington. I thought you're I was gonna, honey boo boo of Washington. No. You're not, you're not going to stick Bobby. around. What, what is stunning about this is where is the Republic? Where is the Chris Christie's? Where is the future of the parties who stand up? Well, and it'll say, be easier for them say, to emerge at this, this point. This is not what the American people... By the way, my guy, has is, is this not uh, really the, the best thing uh -huh. politically that's ever happened to Chris Christie? A guy who's sitting at 72% in New Jersey, a guy who's plus 20 with women, a pro-life guy, a, a conservative... <laughs> I mean, is this not Willie? It's amazing. Yeah. He gets things done and he talks to Democrats. He's, he's in a blue state. And to answer your question, he has been talking about it. I, we played that clip the other day. I talked to him a couple nights ago in an event, and he went on. He said, these guys... And he's talking about Republicans. These guys are fools. This is a disaster. Their strategy is a disaster. So what he's doing is separating himself. I'm a Washington outsider. I got nothing to do with these guys. I got nothing to do with this strategy. He, he may, he's got to get more front. So this is a huge marketing opportunity for any Republican who can understand where That's general right. elections this go. Is now who, who's not going to get priority in the district? And there are a lot of these guys out there. And uh, the thing about Cruz, he's a Sarah Palin. Obviously, there's a difference between meeting a media star. He makes good television. He gives good quotes. He, he reads good books, uh, you know, Green Eggs and Ham. It's but this is a up. guy, and Joe, you know this better than anybody, that will never win in the suburbs of Philadelphia or the suburbs of Virginia. Or the I-4 it, corridor. It, it, is, it is a mathematical and demographic circle. You know, I mean, and Robert Gibbs, I, I wrote this about Sarah Palin back in, I guess, must have been November of 2010 when she was up, you know, first place in polls. And I wrote it about Herman Cain, and I wrote it about every other front runner that even people in the mainstream media were saying, this is the Republican guy. Ted Cruz will never win in the I-4 corridor. Ted Cruz will never win in the Philadelphia suburbs. Ted Cruz will never win where Republicans have to win to win national elections. I mean, uh, we've nobody, seen this he, story so many times before. But I bet, uh, I bet he's in the lead in the Iowa caucuses right now. I mean, I don't disagree with Donnie that he's the honey boo-boo of Washington, but let's be clear, that series keeps coming on TV because a lot of people out in America watch it. Uh, watch it. Uh, this is 30 <laughs> to 40 Republicans, quite frankly, that, that they believe and probably are in many ways speaking for the hardcore Republican base that are leading those that, quite frankly, just simply aren't strong enough, uh, and if they step out of line, uh, will be beaten in a primary. I mean, look, Ted Cruz is, he may be doing this in a way that doesn't win a general election, but my guess is his numbers are through the roof with Republicans in early presidential primary states. Mm, willing. So the